Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm up here at my camper and last week I found a dead mouse in a trash basket. So I'm gonna go around my camper and uh, look for some obvious openings and close them off with like some great stuff, fill with some expanding foam. And uh, I'll kind of show you guys what to look out for and things you might want to close up. Uh, there's a few spots inside and one pretty big spot outside. And uh, we're gonna dive into this right now. So I'm near the rear of my RV and this is a brand new RV. I noticed right with my water lines out here in the back, there's a huge opening and the factory just kind of used this tape. And the thing goes right here. So there's a hole here. They didn't close this up at all. I'm hoping that this is where he got in from. I'm probably pretty sure of it because the hole on the side of this trailer is pretty well sealed. It has a belly on it and everything else. It goes all the way down. So I'm going to go check my lines over here. The soil lines coming out, the black water, the gray water. Kind of look around the edges. But something like this, this has got to be closed up. Um, they'll get into there. They'll, they'll grab the pipe. They'll run, run along this rail. It's like a habit trail. And the thing goes like all the way down the length of the trail. So let's sitting on this rail. It's like a highway. And they'll grab this pipe. It's crazy that they can grab this slippery pipe and get in there, but they can do it. Uh, I got some expanding foam, so I'm gonna squirt some in here, seal this all off. This is the uh, expanding foam that I'm using, and I found that at Home Depot they have some like landscaper stuff too that I've read online will work as well. It's black and it doesn't uh, retain the moisture. This stuff should be fine. So I'm gonna get into the air and, and fill that gap in with this. So I'm underneath my camper where the gray water and the black water discharge tubes come out. And I noticed there's like a small spot here that the factory missed. So I put some expanding foam in there and I can see that they used the black stuff on, on this. And uh, you can hit this with a little spray paint or something if you want and it'll stick to it. And uh, they actually they did a pretty good job. There was a little, little tiny spot that they missed so I, I filled that in and uh, I'm going to keep working my way around. Just gotta look around and, and find all these spots and fill them in. Okay, so I'm looking around the other side of the pipe. And uh, you can see there's a hole right there that the factory missed. So that might be a way in for a critter. It's about the size of a dime. It's kind of hard to see on the tape, the video. But uh, I'm gonna fill this in too, just so that it'll seal the rest of this up. They can definitely, it's crazy what they can go on. Like they can grab this pipe and run up it and I don't know how they do it, but they can get into little places like that, and they're in your camper. So this pipe looks to be sealed pretty well, but I just noticed over here where there's some wires going in. They seem to have done a pretty good job, but look, right here there's a big opening, and uh, that's their way in. It's the way into your camper, right where all the wires are. So I'm under my sink, and there's a spot right there on the floor where they can come through, and for the mouse was in here, you can see that. It's a couple of droppings. So I'm going to close all this up with expanding foam and hit all this so they can't get in that way anyway. All right, so I just hit that hole. That's all plugged up. And there's a spot under the sink that I've got to put some foam in too. Last week when we found that mouse in here, um, there was some droppings in here. And they ended up getting into one of the to toilet paper rolls because there's a huge opening right here. And again, they could shimmy right up the thing. So we're going to fill this all in. I've got an access panel under there that I'm going to pull and kind of put um, something around the bottom of this hole so all the expanding foam doesn't drop down and it kind of sits here and try to be somewhat neat about it. Okay, so holding like uh, a uh, plastic bag under this worked. And you can see that the foam was kind of set up. And you can, when this hardens, you can trim it down a little bit too and clean it up. But uh, right now I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to let it sit and maybe trim it later. My main goal is to keep these critters out of these places. You don't want them getting into the stuff, building a nest. And uh, we got some other tricks up our sleeve in another video. Um, a good buddy called, a good buddy of mine told me about a product called Mice Out that you spray on the bottom of your RV. It's supposed to be really good. It's expensive. And at the time of this video, you can get them on Amazon. It's like $125 a gallon. So we have this nice corner shower in the in the RV and I wanted to show you a hole that I found that's under this. So there's this massive hole right here. So there's a huge hole underneath the shower and 
you can see all the stuff. That's like the belly and stuff like there, the camper when the pipe's coming through. So I'm going to get a piece of wood and um, I'm going to block this off. So this is one less area that these little critters can get into. It's such a pain. I mean, this you can get into a dime size hole, but this is like, come on in. <laughs> it's like invitation. And once they get into there, they fall the pipes and they're on the highway. They're into your camper and... You know, there's no stopping the little things. So um, I'm kind of just banging around my camper here, trying to, you know, from you want to work from the outside in. So you want to try to keep the critters out from getting in from the outside first. And then kind of seal up some things on the inside. So if they do get in, it makes them even harder to get into the main part of the camper and make a mess. So um, hope you guys liked the video. If you guys have any tips, tricks, or reviews, leave a comment. Uh, we're all RVers. We all love camping. And we'd love to hear what may have worked for you. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Like the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of great stuff. Thanks for watching.